In this episode, we'll create a super simple Telegram bot using the Grammy framework. Now, the Grammy framework is built with Dino in mind, and it works great with TypeScript and the Dino runtime. And there's a bunch of examples as well. So um, you can see some here for uh, Dino deploy, uh, and there's also one here for uh, the Superbase Edge functions. So um, we can actually take the code um, pretty much just from this example. Uh, it's super simple and we can kind of step through it. So let's go ahead and say Superbase functions new Telegram bot and open uh, up our project in VS Code. So here we have our um, Telegram bot and let's just go over here and um, copy all of this uh, in and then we can step um, through it. So we're using the, the surf function here as you know, always kind of with um, Dino. And then um, we're just saying, okay, our Telegram bot is up and running. And so here using the um, Grammy framework, we're importing the bot and the webhook uh, callback. And then we need to create a new bot um, with the bot token. So we'll need to um, create that bot token in a bit, but what we can do already is we can um, create a new dot env file and we can put uh, we'll put our bot token in there in a bit and um, then we specify uh, two commands for the bot so we'll have a, a start command and the start command is just replying back with uh, welcome up and running and then we have a ping command which just replies with a pong and a new um, date which is um, just right now and then we uh, have basically this handle update uh, method we are creating um, with um, the bot so the webhook callback bot and we'll say here that this is um, standard HTTP uh, and so what we can do now is um, in here we're checking the URL so the request URL and we are checking for um, a secret. So later when we register our webhook um, with uh, Telegram, uh, we specify a secret. So this way we can kind of make a little bit sure that you know when we get the request um, and it includes a secret that it actually is coming from, um, from Telegram because Telegram doesn't currently provide any sort of uh, webhook signing or anything like that. So um, we're doing it um, like that. We're just checking the secret. If, if it's not our secret, then we're replying back with not allowed. And otherwise we're handling um, the update. Okay, great. And so let's actually just give that a save. And maybe let's do um, the following. We'll um, serve this up locally and then use ngrok to um, tunnel, uh, our, um, tunnel our requests locally. And we'll, we'll give that a go. So we'll say superbase uh, functions serve, uh, we say telegram bot, uh, and then again, we need the no verify JWT. So this needs to be publicly available. So that's why we're adding kind of that secret um, at the end of the URL. So as always, we need to start up our local um, Superbase stack if we want to serve locally. Um, and now we can serve our um, function, our Telegram bot function. Um, and we can see, yes, empty token. So um, that is a problem. Uh, and so let's go ahead and um, generate our token. So we can look at the instructions. So we'll need to contact um, the bot father. So we need to do that here through the bot father, but we can do that um, in the browser. 
So what we can say, there's all um, these methods here. We can say new bot. Um, we need to choose a name for a new bot. So we say edgy edge functions. Um, a username. So um, let's call a edgy bot. Uh, okay, let's call them edgy edge functions bot. There we go. Okay, that's great. So we have our um, edgy edge functions bot. We can find it here. Uh, we can add a description and things like that. And then we have the access token. So this is um, our access token and we need to um, keep it secret. So let's set up the access token in our .end file. Um, there we are. And now we can go back, we can serve it um, again, and we'll specify the env file flag. And that is um, superbase functions telegram bot dot env. And so now we should not see any errors. Okay, our telegram bot is up and running. Uh, and so the bot is up and running locally on localhost um, 54. Uh, if I remember 54321 slash function slash v1. So let's um, serve up ngrok. So ngrok is uh, a tunneling um, software. So since this function is running locally, um, what we can do is we can tunnel um, this through. So let's say ngrok HTTP um, 5432. One, uh, yeah, that should be it. And then we're getting um, this URL. So if we open this up in localhost, and then we should be able to say functions v1, uh, and we can say uh, c not not allowed. Um, and one thing we forgot to set up is our function secret. So let's actually go ahead and um, do that real quick now. So function secret, um, we'll just make that uh, super secret, one, two, three, uh, for now. So if we say, um, so this is just URL param uh, secret, secret equals super secret one, two, three. Okay, so let's uh, register this. Yeah, we can just copy this here uh, and modify it. So let's put it in here. So we'll need our um, bot token. So this is how we set um, the webhook URL, bot um, set webhook. And then our URL is this one here. There we are. And so now if we um, fire this up, we should uh, get, yes, webhook was set. Okay, so this is um, how we're setting setting the webhook. So let's spin up our um, bot again. So our bot is up and running. And so now if we go um, into Telegram and we send a message to our edgy edge functions bot, we can say start. And we can see, okay, welcome up and running. And if we go back, um, we can, if we look at the web interface, we can see um, the invocations here. So for example, this was the invocation to our bot, our bot command. Um, so ncroc is really handy for um, kind of uh, tunneling these through. So um, what we can do now is let's, um, 
say ping and we get our pong back uh, so this is working this is up and running and we can see uh, here this is our um, pong message so ping and then we reply it back with pong so in the last step we can go ahead and we can um, deploy our supervised function so now uh, let's stop ngrok let's uh, deploy our function important we need to make it public so no verify jwt um, and then what we'll need we'll need to set our uh, superbase secrets set we'll set them from our env file which is at uh, superbase functions telegram bot dot env so we can do that and now we have our um, secrets set up so what we can do now is we can go to our functions dashboard um, we can get our endpoint URL uh, and so right now because I stopped the end uh, what we can see if we were to try to send another ping uh, nothing happens so no pong is coming back because um, the forwarding to our local host is not happening anymore but so what we can do is we can update our um, endpoint URL so in this case we'll just change that to um, our actual live deployed URL now there we are so that's our telegram bot uh, super secret and so I believe um, this is now set and so now we can see oh this was already retried our ping uh, if we say start welcome up and running ping and you can see pong or super quick um, yeah that's it so this is how we can get a simple um, telegram bot up and running on superbase edge functions thanks for tuning in and see you next time